Hey, welcome back to Thronebreaker. Working our way back through the Rivia, through the mm. driving rain. The robust rain hither comes. Right, like she said. You there, get out of my country. Uh, my queen, the village has been slaughtered to the last and a soul remaining. That is, save for a few Nilf guardians. They claim to have arrived only recently in order to learn the fate of their collector. He had arrived in the village a few days past and has since vanished without a trace. What should we do with the black clads? They've offered to buy their freedom. Their release, however, may lead to unrest with our soldiers. No, have them shackled and bound. No mercy on this trip. Uh, which I think we want to go up this way first. Yes. Ooh, puzzle battle. Nice. Uh, let's go grab this first. Okay, cool. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Meave's unit was situated near a deep cave known by locals as Hare Caverns. Perhaps the harmless rodents truly lived there once. In any case, uh, another beast now calls the cave home, a beast who prefers a slab of beef atop its bed of lettuce and carrots. Combine at least three identical cards in order to damage the wyvern, use your leader's ability. Okay. Alright, so another interesting one. We're basically uh, matching threes. So we just got, we can move them and they'll, uh, well, just uh, disappear, turn into a random one. And damage the the wyvern there. So I don't know if it's random or not. I didn't. I just all I did in my practice was just that one, and then thought I'd dive straight in. So why don't we try doing this? Yeah, then we get both there. Does a decent amount of damage. Should we get a bonus there as well. Okay, that worked quite well. And now here we could probably do the same there with the waters. Should we do that? Yeah, let's try it. Decent amount of damage, okay. And then if we do that one there, that should do it. Ah, I didn't get the didn't get it both ways. Okay. Alright, now I just need one more. And there we go. Okay. Bit of a fun one. Nice and easy though. Wonder if that's like a I don't know if it'd be a tribute, but a, a nod to sort of a lot of the mobile games right there, your, your candy crushes and that kind of, that type of rubbish. Uh, right, let's send the scouts out. Uh, okay, all good so far. So let's go have a look at this place, shall we? I think there was some loot down this way. Where was it? A little bit further. Okay. Right there. You know, let's go and have a look at this rock up here. Not that one, that one maybe. Hmm. No, okay. I wonder if it might be our treasure map from last time. Because, you know, that could be... That's not a rock, though, is it? But... No, okay, I don't think it is. I thought it might be around here, so perhaps not. Rivians, I queen move here by proclaim that upon... Uh... I think we read that, didn't we? 
I know we didn't. I shall immediately cease all production within local workshops and forges. All goods thereafter shall be imported from our comrades' workshops in Mahakam. As you are all well aware, dwarven craftsmanship has consistently demonstrated undeniable superior superiority and quality over domestic goods. Wow, these guys are bastards. Okay. So I guess we're going to be going down south afterwards anyway, so why don't we clear this out first. Let's go. Neve arrived at the walls of Gradobor, famed for fine rugs and woven tapestries. The city's artisans had been at work, no doubt pressed by the Nilf guardians, for atop the tallest spire, that of the town hall, flapped a lustrous ebony flag, a sun of golden threads at its center. So vast was the banner, Gascon whistled in admiration. <whistles> Got to admit, the black clads certainly have panache. And a vast and powerful army, I'd remind you, Reynard interjected. Arbalists line the walls, that stench in the air, hot tar. And our scouts claim the black clads stand armed to the hilt with the best Mahakam has to offer. Victory's not likely to come cheap, I fear. Well, do I wonder in these if there's if we went and did something else first, would that would that change this battle? I mean, it doesn't. You know, could have said something. Maybe there's someone around here that can help us, but uh, you know, we're just going to go in gung ho. No cost see what happens. Too high. Said Meve, a hardness in her voice. Reynard, Gascon, ready our men to attack. The Lyrians needed no more encouragement. Since arriving, they had reveled in anticipation of taking the city, then ripping the banner from its spire. Short and battle, okay. We've instructed Reynard to personally command the catapults and ballistae during the siege. After all, they're attacking their own city. Any missile off its mark would fall upon the heads of the Queen's own subjects. They have suffered enough in this war. Okay, one of these. Let's have a look at the battlefield. Damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. Okay. Oh. That's a bite in frost card, isn't it? What's that doing there? Uh, damage an enemy by two whenever an ally appears. Okay. Um, every time I start, boost a random ally by two and give it two armor. Death wish, destroy all palisade. Okay. Okay. So we've got some work to do. Uh, not too bad about that one. Reynard could be good. Strays, you can go. You can go as well, literally. You can go. You can stay. And it's both. It will be go. difficult okay. to graze. The walls are strong. Something's gone weird here, I don't... Okay, you're gonna let me have a go? Or not? Right, thanks, Bellend. Uh, I don't think this card is actually here. It's just kind of glitched for some reason. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's change them. This could hurt. Shame we don't get their ability. Uh, yeah, I got these guys again. Every time turn to start boost Jason units by two of this unit has armor. It starts with 15 again. That's crazy. Hmm. Can I target that though? No, I can't, but well, I've played it now, so I'll target you. Really what I wanted, but let's also use this. We'll get spike trap. And uh, we're gonna have to play them straight away, aren't we? So I might just, I'm gonna get two actually, because they're focused on the back row. Could be quite nice. It's kind of messing it up a bit, isn't it? Alright. So now let's 
Let's well, we get this down early as well. Ooh. Someone's opening the gate. Oh. Forward march. What's going on? Come on, game. You can do it. Who's come to help us? At least it seems to have cleared that uh, biting frost as well. Again, struggling with an elf guardian. I don't know what elf. Oh, no, it is still there. Okay. Well, that was completely useless, wasn't it? Hmm. Should get the marker mail out. All right. Let's get my uh, support cards down. So is he dead now? Next turn. I wonder the gates. So next we'll probably do blood. I think. Yeah. There we go, game. I knew you could do it. Is that one gone? Okay, let's go for. There we go for Barnabas and. Oh, they're quite high, aren't they? Quite high numbers. Feel any burning? See a local healer or wise woman? Hmm. Give you a armor. Turn one to the hand. So yeah, that. They are the highest, aren't they? Yeah, okay. So let's do that one. And we've also got the lowest. Okay, that's fine. Alright, then we'll put you up there. No time for that. Okay. Because he gets both of those together now if he can survive. And takes away that uh, boost this one's giving, so that's pretty. Yeah, we'll get there in a minute. It does just seem to be the Nilf Guardian battles as well. Don't know if it's a known bug or anything like that. But anyway, so what are we going to do next? Probably want to get. Alright, I would like to get rid of these two because that just two attack every time is really rather irritating. And to probably use reinforcements before Nickers bloody eats it. So let's get a slinger out. Bigger they are, easier they are to and might, yeah, might as well use it. So we'll take that one, that one, and that one. We'll work on just getting rid of their armour. But I just didn't want to move these two because we got our uh, infiltrator up there. Is he coming back now? Yes, he is. Not bad. Okay, so I want to be playing all the slingers before... Um, well, I'll play the reinforcements next. Maybe to get another slinger, I think. If we ever get another go, it would be really nice. Mine now. So let's do that. Yeah, just the one. That's all right. Think about slings. So, right, well. I would like to get rid of this armor. And we're nearly there. Just uh, yeah, another slinger movement will do that job. We're still looking alright points wise. I need to get I need to get the Pathfinder out next actually. 
What's your ability? Damage is going to be by the number of your allied units. So it's going to be five. Okay. Well, we can survive that. Go on, and Kazel! Whenever, whenever a unit, an enemy unit appears on the range row, strengthen itself by three. Whenever an enemy unit appears on the melee row, boost all units in hand by one. Okay, so I want to be putting them on the melee row because they've only got three, so it's not going to make too much difference. So let's do that. Sod it. Sod it all. I would like to use Meave's ability, but I'm going to have to I'd lose quite a lot of points, actually. The lowest one would be would be Knickers, which I think I might do, but I can't do because I can't target it because it's got resilience. So it's going to be it's got to be one of the slingers unless I wait until this comes into play, which I guess I'm going to have to do. Okay. So we'll do another slinger now. I'll probably move these three into the back row. Get finally get rid of that armor. Sometimes today would be nice out. What's your name, champion? That is what you folk lack. Don't kill him. Okay, let's do this, this, and do I want to do that one? Or do I want to take this one out? It's not really doing anything back there. So they're fine, let's see. So let's just start taking out one of these. Yeah. Now, there's quite a good chance this one's going to die, actually, because they seem to target the, uh, the weakest every time, you know. Doesn't say they do that, but I'm pretty sure they do. So that'll be four, so it should survive. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure your men are listening to your uh, strange noise you made there. Come on, you can do it. It's just one of two. I believe in you. Yeah, see, they definitely just target the weaker one. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. He's not. I'm not gonna get the extra card here because they're just gonna kill it. So I think I might as well do this now. Last pitfall trap. And yeah, don't need that. Hmm. Let's set them on fire too. Should I put all the pitfall traps on one row? I think I'd do more damage there, wouldn't I? Okay, good. I'll put you on the front row. And also do that on the back row. And then we'll Use another slinger. Ever up a storm, knock out one Target hitsy. you. Uh, you and you. Okay. I think it'll be okay points wise, whatever happens, because two of the sort of scepter of storms and four slingers to use their ability again, so should be fine. This guy can just do something. Mm. A highly curious case. That guy. He might have to die. Her Majesty is there we go. exceptional. Uh, yeah, so you and you. 
then you, you, and you. Here's that one. So I think we're good. So we can do you, you, and you. So we'll, well, you two are, they're all, they're dead anyway, so let's do you three. And then, zap. So dear, no mercy. Victory, your grace! The city is ours! It's just walking off. At least have the decency to fall over. The battle for Gradobor was a hard fight, though not quite as hard as most had thought it might be. During the assault, at its critical juncture, a blow fell from the blue. The unlikely heroes, merchants and burghers brought together by the city's guilds. A wave of them, all riled, swarmed the black clads at the gates and opened them wide to let Lyria in. Onward! Follow me! As fighting died down, city, me rode for the town hall on a personal quest. Nilfgaard's vast, gearish banner rippled overhead. With its halyard cut, it plunged like a great black bird, stricken. It was the last any would see of the golden sun over Gradobor. Three cheers! Hip, hip, hooray! The Lyrians were victorious, though not without aid. Meave met with the merchants who had roused the townsfolk, inspired them to rise up and fight. Many of my soldiers, dozens, perhaps hundreds, owe you their lives today, said the queen. For that I am deeply grateful. No, deeply indebted. Should you know a way I might repay the debt, don't for a moment hesitate to ask. The merchants exchanged glances, nodded, grunted, agreed with each other without uttering a word. Then one, a cloth fuller, his moustache most robust, stepped forth, bowed low, and spoke for them all. Your Majesty, the invaders brought laws, laws what don't agree with customs we've long held. Non-humans they forced us to accept, let them join our guilds, sit on the city council. It's right ridiculous it is. These treacherous dwarves, why, they've been on their side from the start, so it's no wonder. But, well, the Nilfgaardian reforms, we'd like you to revoke them. Non-humans must know their place. An awkward silence ensued. All turned their eyes to the queen, awaiting her response. Bollocks. I really don't like this racial segregation thing that they've got going on here. Mm. Okay, it's okay, so. I'm gonna fulfill it because we need to liberate Rivia first. That's first and foremost. And we need the people on our side for that. Were I actually queen, I'd probably fulfill the merchant's request. Because they are Nilfgaardian Guardian things, you know, we need to we need to cut this out. And then I would in the future work to to uh, towards a similar sort of reform. Your city. Meave began slowly after a pause. Your rules. So be it. I hereby strike down all Nilfgaard's reforms. The townsmen grasped each other's shoulders and vigorously shook hands, toothy grins spreading upon all their faces. Yet when they asked the queen to stay and feast, she politely but firmly declined. Her army left Gradobor that very day. She rode at its fore, angry and silent. And Meave finally blurted to Reynard, her eyes still facing forward. I know I granted a wicked request, but I can't hope to easily end hate, distrust, wipe away years of bloodshed, not with one decree. To force those tradesmen to accept non-humans, allow them into their guilds, would have changed nothing. Do you understand, Reynard? Alas, she could not tell, for Reynard held his tongue. Gabor Zigrin was not the silent type. 
and was wont to be blunt. He asked to see the Queen at the first opportunity. We have not always seen eye to eye, began the Dwarf, a note of pain and sadness in his voice. But I've always respected your decisions. That is, to the day. I fear this is where we part, lass. I've got to go. So fare you well. Okay, Gabor, I understand. You did betray me, remember? Um, but I understand. Meave made no attempt to stop him. She knew not to try. Gabor had left her side, never to return. I suspect if we still had um, Black Railer with us, then um, that would have been a choice between the two of them, I would wager. Okay. Why have we got to let them into our homes? Dwarves don't let humans into Mahakam. Why have we got to let them into our homes? Rivia for Rivians. Dwarves to the mountains. Elves to the forests. Halflings to their... Uh, halfling holes. Rivia for Rivians. Dwarves to the mountains. Elves I don't like these people. Yeah, it's insane, Mr. Dwarf. Need to live in it, eh? No. Dwarves are good to die for. Dwarves are. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, it's horrible, horrible, horrible decisions. Well, let's see. So we're going to be. Well, we're going to be going around this way eventually, aren't we? So let's head this way. Uh, my lady, crews have arrived from Hackham, the Zigrin's Bank, to be more precise. They arrived with several sacks heavy with coin. Your earnings from the um, investment with them. Oh, cool. No way. 5,000. Yeah, but I really don't need the money. So, yeah, distribute amongst the soldiers. Grace, these hovels are inhabited by elves. Uh, they're starving, for none of Grabador are willing to trade with them. They are offered to sell what little they have for next to nothing. Mere scraps and modest coin. Yeah, I'll, I'll help them out. Looks like an elf guardian camp, doesn't it? The vast majority of Rivians greeted the return of their queen with joy and relief, but not all. Some quickly adapted to the new order. They stood ready to defend it, fighting side by side with the invaders, prepared to kill their fellow countrymen. Or did they now? 